Alright, here's the uh, wood I'm going to be using. I'm going to be working on the floor today. So, I've got some 4x4s pressure treated, some 2x6s pressure treated. And I think that's all I need for today. And there's some plywood there that I'll be using. And I think these are the tools I'll need. So, I've got a miter saw and a power drill and some squares, a framing square and a speed square and a four three foot level and some miscellaneous things but I think that's all I need so time to get to it alright so I've got my beams laid out where I think I want them um, so I've got them going down that way so one beam per three piers um, and I laid it out this way just because there's more more room um, to drill the holes uh, this way than if I were to go that way um, with the beams. And so you see I so to get them try to get them squared up I set up this line that goes from this bolt down to that one and I'm measuring an equal distance from the string to the end of this post um, so that they'll all be relatively at the same position on this side on the right side so that on the left side they'll all be at about the same position there too so okay so I have leveled the uh, 4x4s out and that's what we have so that took a little while but it was it's worth it don't want an unlevel shed and so I think these things are gonna be a problem now I gotta probably gonna have to cut those and then make little notches in the two by sixes that they that's gonna sit on top of here but oh well I think it'll it'll be okay Level. Look at that anyway um, so I'm gonna start putting the two by sixes up there to make the floor all right so I've got all my wood cut for the floor or the subfloor um, these are all two by six by twelves so these pieces that are facing, that piece that's facing me right now is 12 feet long. And in order to make a 12 by 12 box, those cross members need to be 11 feet 9 inches. Um, I also got it squared up, which is very important for your floor. Because um, if you don't have a square floor, then none of your measurements are going to work out very well. Um, and everybody on YouTube says, make sure your diagonals are the same distance. Um, and what they really mean is use the Pythagorean theorem. So you take this big box and you make two triangles out of it. You know, you just draw an imaginary line from there to there. And since it's a 12 by 12 box, you uh, do 12 squared plus 12 squared equals some unknown number squared. So you take 144 squared plus 144 squared, and you take the square root of that, and you get the diagonal measurement that you're supposed to have. And for this one, it turns out to be 203 inches and about three quarters of an inch and I got roughly that so I'm happy <clears throat> so now I'm gonna um, these these are connected here got those screwed in and I've got this tacked in place well not tacked we're not welding but it's held in place by some screws um, to the the four by fours so now I'm gonna be using these handy little uh, things that I drew. Those are my 16 inch on center markings. So I'm just going to center up this board with that mark and screw it in. So do that with all these boards and I should have a subfloor. Um, I think that's about it for now. So I'm just going to go screw those in then I'll start putting plywood on top. Now I've got the uh, floor all braced. So I had the, the joist running lengthwise that way um, but if you just kind of leave it like that and these are 16 inches on center so with this three-quarter inch plywood that I'm using um, I was I've been told it will be a little squishy so to add extra support um, for, the, for the plywood I put those braces in and so those are those are every three feet so there's four boxes go running down the length and uh, remember, when you cut these, this one is going to be three quarters of an inch shorter than all of these middle ones. Pro tip. Um, 
anyways I screwed all those in so now I'm gonna put the plywood on and I um, something I didn't mention was these uh, uh, these joist hangers that I hadn't put in before but I was told it was a very good idea so install joist hangers to hang your joists floor joists ceiling joists whatever and notice that uh, these are staggered so that you can screw the blocks in on each side so now I'm gonna put this plywood on I have five sheets to cover this 12 by 12 shed and I'll have half of a sheet left over so a 4 by 4 piece of plywood left if my calculations are correct um, and after I've got everything uh, before I put down the first piece of plywood I'm gonna make sure that the floor is square and when it's square I'm gonna uh, right now the floor is not it's just tacked down with that screw there and one on that other corner so I'm gonna square up the, the frame of the floor with the first piece of plywood. Then I'll just start screwing it all down and everything should just work. Here's the decking all on and it's level all directions pretty much so that's a good thing. Uh, what I did there are two layers here so I uh, put the three quarter inch that I had on there and I'm not sure if you can see that that's on the bottom and then I got another uh, half inch treated plywood layer on the top and the reason for that was um, the three quarter inch wasn't as firm as I would have liked but that's all taken care of now and I don't know if you can see the pattern maybe you can um, but I've got let's see one two three full sheets of plywood there a fourth one here and then half in the corner and the layer on the bottom has the same pattern but in reverse uh, and that's to minimize seam overlapping from the two layers you don't want that um, so the that corner piece on the bottom layer is over in that corner so remember to do that and when I put the second layer on I use some uh, adhesive that I got at the ReStore Habitat for Humanity. You see that coming out there. There it is. Anyways, that's very important. Bond the two layers together. And uh, when you're putting, when you're screwing the second layer down, um, you only need to screw into the first layer. So you don't need super long screws to reach into the, into the uh, floor joists. That would be a little tough. I guess the next step is to start framing stuff.